17 real life places you probably miss in one piece i butchered that title but it's by ohara let's check it out this is Alabasta, one of Wait, the most iconic oh, yeah. islands in One Piece. Yeah, and it's this right, yeah. Is and if it's not, it's Greenland Review. I'm pretty sure it's the right. ancient temple of Edfu, the gambling Edfu. city of Las Vegas in the United States, traditional architecture from Mali in oh, West Africa, really, really the Nehranga good. Fort in India, and even the Taj hmm. Mahal. The epic the landmarks and beautiful landscapes of four incredible... Yeah, I was getting, uh... I almost... I, yeah, it was like... Yeah, not in... I think it was in between Indian vibes or like the places in Russia, like the huge, like these uh, golden uh, thingy mabobbers. I was getting that vibe from this when I first watched Alabaster. Three different countries from all around the world merged into one fantastic island on the Grand Line with its own unique history, culture, and people. I just can't stress enough how that's, impressive I find that's it. That's so many Alabasta people. is a desert kingdom located halfway through the first part of the Grand Line with a history dating back to the infamous Robin. void century 900 years ago. <laughs> At first glance, the island seems to be purely inspired by Egypt, with pyramids yeah, and deserts. Yeah, 100%. But once I looked a Especially little closer, the pyramid it became part. clear that there is so much more going on here. Rain Diners, the large casino run by Crocodile, is a condensed version of the Luxor Hotel in Vegas. The main mm. palace is inspired by India's most... The Luxor Hotel? I don't know if you guys have seen, um, or have watched Year Rage. Or like the AMP group, but I think they went here and they showed off this place. It looks pretty cool. Dense version of the Luxor Hotel in Vegas. It looks the really, really palace cool. Palace is inspired by India's most famous landmark, but the roofs have been replaced with the golden ones of the so-called Dome of the Rock, a very Dome important Islamic rock. shrine oh, located in Jerusalem. Okay. This is fitting because, according to Nico Robin, it dates back over four thousand years. <laughs> The capital city, Arubana, to me seems oh, to I be thought, based on this. I thought it was going to get to the point where like, Robin says something, but she says nothing. Okay, so here's what I wanted to say. The fact that Oda has 17 references to actual places is, is really, really insane. Like Ancient it, rocky real. fort in the northwest of India that celebrates the sacred spirit festival. The Tomb of Kings, the oldest part of Alabasta that concealed the Poneglyph, is the spitting image of the ancient temple of Edfu. That Wait, is particularly really? famous for the Edfu building text that contained the history I never heard of this the ancient until now, of Egypt but all the way back to the quote unquote the you know. early primeval age of the gods. Damn, that's uh, cool. I definitely want to go there someday. And how very fitting for a place that contains part of the true history of the One Piece world and its gods. <laughs> you also have characters like Pell and Chaka that have Yeah, they're supposed to represent the, uh, I almost said mythical gods, but the Egyptian gods. Like, uh, this, I think, is Osiris. Uh. You know, that's just about it, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is, yeah. <clears throat> Osiris, I think this is Horus. Pharaoh Mercy. Fruits inspired no by the sacred animals of ancient Egypt, a falcon and a shakal. The king himself is named Cobra, and the main antagonist is Crocodile, an Ooh. animal that lives in the Nile River, which is ironic mm -hmm. because he's the one who took away all the country's water supplies. And yet, what absolutely blew my mm, mind that was that Alabasta yeah. officially is inspired by India. Which, I'm sorry, but I found absolutely ridiculous given all of this Egyptian Wait. influence. And so you're telling me this arc was influenced by India more than... Let me go back a little bit. I might, I might hit that wrong. Asta officially is inspired by India. Which... How is it... <laughs> okay, I want to know what he says before he gets what he says. How is it inspired by India when it takes place in the desert? You know, I could be wrong, but India is not in the desert. 
I'm sorry, but I found absolutely ridiculous yeah, given make no all sense. of this Egyptian influence yeah. and its name literally being a pun on the words Arab and the white stone alabaster in Japanese. But anyways, what's up? I'm Manu and in case you're wondering ah. how I know all this, there is actually an official travel guide to the One Piece world that lists really? a lot of the real life inspirations for all the fantastic places we visit that actually only dropped back in 2021 and that I haven't heard of for some reason until now. I actually was doing research on this topic myself when I just randomly stumbled across it halfway through. Now, I guess if you clicked on this video, you're as fascinated by the world that Eiichiro Oda, the author of One Piece, has created as much as I am. Because yeah. building a whole fictional world that feels alive and real is actually one of the most complex things you can do in storytelling. Very, and since no very, one can very, create very. a whole world out of nothing naturally even if only subconsciously you will adapt and incorporate some real, real world real elements into aspects. your imaginary world as well using them as a base of inspiration without of course copying things one to one for me this exactly. has two big advantages one it makes your world and your characters feel familiar to your audience familiar more relatable more um you can bond with them better based off like their background or where they're from so that's that's a cool part. And that's two. It anchors right. your fiction in reality to make what the heck? it feel more. My screen was like glitching on, my, on this monitor. And I think Oda Sensei, who despite barely leaving his office, is obsessed with learning about the history, geography, and culture of the world has mastered this advanced technique to a ridiculous level. His world of islands and pirates is incredibly unique and new, but still, everything feels familiar and coherent. As I showed you with the example of Alabasta, he achieves this by taking a number of real-life inspirations from all over the world and then combines the attributes he likes into something completely new. Okay. <laughs> So go away. <laughs> Water seven. So allow me to take you on a tour through the One Piece world and I have all to yawn its so fantastic bad. inspirations got, like, no in sleep no particular whatsoever. order. Some of these are based on the official book it's and others, people, let's say, <laughs> educated guesses. And I want to start with Luffy's home, Dawn Island in the East Blue. <laughs> Now, most of these blue in general is inspired by Asian places. Nami's home is inspired by Indonesia. Zoro's uh, village is inspired really? by Asian places. Nami's home by is inspired by Indonesia. I had no idea. To be fair, I didn't know Indonesia existed until like a year and a half ago. Or it's two years ago. I'm not gonna lie. Like I know what Micronesia is. That's like the only E I know, to be honest. Asia, in Zoro's Thailand, village but that's is inspired not Asia, by Nara in you know? Japan, and the Baratie is inspired by Vietnam's floating restaurants. This makes sense because it is literally called the East Blue, Asia being in the East. And when I looked deeper into this, it actually yeah. seemed to be the direction Oda Sensei went with the entirety of the One Piece world. The West Blue, for instance, features locations like Ohara, that is based on England, Bollywood Kingdom. What? That is that's based on England? I just got to the point where I watched Ohara get bombed by um, Buster Call. I got no English vibes from that whatsoever. Oh, uh, that that has to be like yeah, some of course, based on Hollywood and Thriller Bark that is inspired by French Gothic architecture like the Notre Dame. So, anyways, the Goa Kingdom in the East Blue also falls into this pattern because it is based on the Philippines oh my with all its jungles out. and warm oh, climates. Okay. And by the way, one of the most beautiful countries I ever had the pleasure to travel to. The rich capital and the great terminal seem to be a representation of Smoky Mountain, a giant land in Manila, Smoky the capital Melvin? of the Philippines, where people used to live and work Whoa, in heaps why did this place get trashed? This was in the Philippines, I think he said. What happened? There's like trash and stuff everywhere. People have to live there. Jeez. Be grateful where you guys are from, where you guys live. Because they can get like... People have it way worse than what you have originally. So, be grateful and... I don't say after that, but yeah, that's 
That's kind of sad. Of garbage. Just like in One Piece, the landfill experienced devastating fires. Because you're lucky with now, what you have story, right now. In the story, it's the nobles that purposefully want to get rid of all the poor people living there to not anger the celestial dragons coming to visit. Oh, this is Sabo, right? The capital city this. itself, however, seems to be based on the Indian state of Goa, India's richest region, once again contrasting Goa. the striking gap between rich and poor. Now, for Fusha Village, on the other hand, it seems like Oda Sensei drew inspiration from the English countryside, once again merging three very different countries into one. I wish I could nerd out a bit more about how awesome oh. I found this combination, but oh, okay, oh, stop saying, yawning. let's move on. This Malik, is the it. freaky island of Punk, Punk Hazard, Hazard that not only looks like the world's largest Pokeball, but is half Mordor. I was thinking of a donut. Yeah, I might be huge. Because. <laughs> that's and crazy. half North Pole. And is this the place that uh Aokiji and. Uh, what's his name? Aokiji and Akainu, they fight. They fight. They fought. Whenever they clash. And that happened. I'm assuming so. Because it, it only makes sense. Basically how my balls felt when I went into a Japanese onsen in winter. Can't recommend enough. Well, you might or might what? not be surprised when I tell you that there is a say? place like this in the real world as well. Because Iceland is pretty much a song of ice and fire as well. Only that they were smart enough to stop after four seasons. With some of the most unreal and epic landscapes in the world, wow. here hot glowing volcanic lava meets icy glaciers with That's only a cool. few inhabitants. Very similar to how Punk Hazard's condition had- Am I the only one that gets that feeling is like, when you see it like lava, it, I know you're not supposed to touch it obviously, but like you want to touch it so bad. I don't know, like it looks like it's, you know, like, you just want to touch it. Like, it looks like, hey, touch me. But you, your body knows, hey, don't touch that. See, like, let's, like you just want to touch see how, like, how it feels. Because curiosity. I feel like someone has done that before and lost their hand. Or their entire body. Have made it a hard place to live as well. But, damn, I really want Wait, to go make it a was hard that place to live. Why is Rob Coochie and Punk Hazard friends with Luffy? I thought they were enemies. They're literally just fighting. It. I'm watching them box right now in uh, Indy's lobby. Why are they friends? Live as well. But damn, I really want to go to Iceland so, so badly. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Oh, Wano. Now, oh. Wano, the longest arc of the entire story, is of course inspired by Japan. However, there are I wanna so watch ridiculously Wano so many I'm been catching details up. from real Japan hidden throughout this I have arc, been catching it would up. probably be an entire video of its own. So let me know if you want to see that. <laughs> Next, we have a place that I have enjoyed talking about a lot in my videos recently. Drum, Drum Island, Island, home of Chopper. This island as a whole that is always covered in snow is mostly based on Northern America and the Rocky Mountain region. The iconic cone-shaped peaks are most likely inspired- Oh, wait, it snows where Double Tower is at? I had no idea. I didn't know it gets cold over there. Because every picture I've seen, it was never cold. It was always like greenery, you know, blue, um, blue sky. Clear image of this, like brown. People saying like it's a, a giant tree trunk or whatever that got chopped down by some, like, some massive giants back in the day. I don't know, but I never saw snow on this ever. Never. And it's a, it's a cool thing to, to look at. ...by the Devil's Tower in the north of Wyoming. And yeah, I know, I can't believe that's a real... But I, I, I can see why people say that's a tree trunk. And there's also people saying that it's a, it was like a volcano or whatever. But people say it's a tree trunk because of the geo geo geometric shapes that it has. It's like little hexagon patterns of like, and it's supposed to represent like cells or whatever. I don't know. But people might be reaching. Who knows? Nobody knows where this thing came from. So, 
real place either. The town of Cocoa Wheat is basically an exact copy of the Canadian city Banff. However, interestingly enough, Bighorn, the town where the straw hats actually arrive, appears to be inspired by the cute city of Alberobello in Italy. I wanted to say Italia, but it's... Yeah, I thought you say Itachi. I <laughs> got lost what? in that Italian accent a little bit too much right now. Meanwhile, and as a German, I can't believe I missed this. He's German? Drum Castle, yeah. where Dr. Kureha resides, is of course based on the legendary Neuschwanstein Castle in the state of Bavaria, where I'm actually from. How embarrassing. Oda-sensei really went out of his way to create a winter That's wonderland cool. here, giving it that Christmassy special vibe. Before I go on to the next big one, here are a few smaller ones. Whiskey Peak is inspired by Taos in New Mexico. Twin Peaks is basically mm. Thatcher Island, also in the US. I actually just talked about that recently in a theory about the One Piece being inside a whale-like laboon. The castle on top of the red line, Marie Joa, from where the government rules the world, is inspired by the, and I'm really sorry for slaughtering this, Chateau de Chambord? Chateau de Chambord? Chateau de Chambord? What is that? In, in France. It's like a big, a big, a two hour oh. car ride away from Paris. Sitch, Marie Joa. Both the real Chateau and Marie Joa have. You guys see the lawn? Oh my goodness. How do you not mess that up? How much the. I would have, like, their employees get paid so much to keep, like, maintenance on this. Vast gardens and are just a pure statement do. of power and luxury. Now, interestingly enough, it is really closely connected to the French Revolution, where the Revolutionary Army took it away from the governing nobility. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Bro, why is your finger in. Uh, imagine you're the government and your own people to snag your castle or your, your palace or whatever. Yeah, you're going out sad. If uh, that might become relevant in the story at some point. Zoe the Giant finger, Elephant is most likely a twist on the whale with an island on its back trope, but I believe that Oda-sensei might have seen an image of this very famous rock that looks just like an elephant off the coast of Iceland. <laughs> The city of the Minks, on the other hand, is inspired by the Monument Valley in Yemen. There's also this island called the Rommel Kingdom that oh, we some, see in uh, Cavendish Paris. flashback. His alter ego oh, Hakuba is based on the infamous serial killer Jack the Ripper, and his hometown oh, in Jack general the Ripper. is based on 19th century London. I remember that. I think he's a character and in Dead by Daylight. Am inspired or I might by be so wrong. Subscribing to the channel if you want more Facts. One Piece content. I agree like with this. Them. If you want more reaction content, obviously. Oh, oh, big news. I'll be doing a catch and cook series pretty soon. And uh, I feel like that'd be pretty, pretty fun. Trust me, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be great. It's Amazon and subscribe Nilly, as well. An you know. empire about to hit 5, run by the women of the Kuma clan, located in the calm belt where Luffy was transported by Kuma. Kuma. Why is there a pretzel with snakeheads? Now, while the women themselves are clearly inspired by the legendary Amazon warriors from Greek mythology, the island itself is actually inspired by the so-called Hanging Temple in the northeast of China, That's pretty close cool. to the mountains of Mongolia. Yeah, I know, these look absolutely unreal, towering over 30 meters from the ground inside that How cliff, do they get down? They are an actual place built over 1,500 years ago. And I really love how unique this combination of these two ideas is, making Amazon Lily a truly spectacular place. Then we have Dress Rosa. You might already Dress know Rosa? that this island is heavily inspired by Spain and Spanish culture. For example, with yeah, Lola, who is that? Values on the court. That this island is heavily inspired by Spain and Spanish culture. Is that both? For example, with Viola's tango dance. Oh, no. The man. architecture resembles that That's of not. the famous Gaudi, whose influence you can see all over Barcelona. Park Güell Barcelona. in particular oh. looks a lot like the buildings in New Mexico, the country right? under Do Flamingo's rule. And just how Crocodile was inspired by an animal that is connected to Egypt, Don Quixote Do Flamingo himself is a nod to both the flamingos living in the Spanish Salines, but also oh, to no, the 
Spain. Flamenco. Oh. Oh, and of course, to the famous story of Don Quixote himself. Oda Sensei actually commented the following here himself. This is my uh, Oda voice. When I took a close look at Do Flamingo and tried to think of what country would suit him, I arrived at the conclusion that it must be Spain. I have already previously mentioned that the countries of One Piece are all inspired by real life countries in another SBS, but it's the first time I actually got feedback from the residents of such a country. Now I sometimes can be irresponsible in the way I draw and so if you do see anything that seems like a half-baked version of your culture or buildings, please forgive me. Remember, it's He's such just a, good a guy. manga. <laughs> Oh, that's such a good guy. He's like, hey, for people that get offended, bro, listen, I try my best. At the end of the day, it's just fantasy. It's not real. It's just a manga, you know? Those that give Oda hate and, uh, you know, too hard on him, bro, hop off. You know, get a life. Get a job, maybe. Cause... I, I wish more Oda people did nothing would wrong. actually take the last sentence to heart. The giant Colosseum, on it's the other just hand, is of course inspired by the actual Colosseum deep. in Rome, or there are actually some in ancient Greece as well. Now, let's move on to my absolute favorite location in all of One Piece. Water 7. And not only because there's Amazon no way there's inspiration for this. my favorite arc, but also because the island itself is just absolutely breathtaking. It's a floating city with canals instead of streets that is famous for its ship. Oh, rights. wait, I know, I know, I know. Mm, mm. That's, I know what place this is. No, no, don't, don't, don't tell me. Uh. It starts with a P. Oh, Panama. Because there's canals. And I think that's why it's called the Panama Canal. Because the the place has so many, like, canals, so you don't have to drive and stuff like that. Or, Austria. Is it Austria? It's just with an A. Is it Austria? No, it starts with an A. Because people, I know people talk about the red light districts there, and there's like a, there's like a, a moat, or like this canal thingy, and like they have like the, the, the stands right here, and you walk, it starts with an A, I don't know. City is of course heavily inspired by Venice, that is also built on water. Venice? Like Venezuela? I know Venezuela is... Bro. and full with canals. The Venetians were also famous for their ships that they oh, used Venetians? to build a flourishing global trading empire reflected in Water 7's skill with shipbuilding as well. Now, if you ever have the chance to actually visit this place, it's just as breathtaking as it looks. That Maybe looks so cool. I do want to go. So. The masks of the Venetian carnival are used incredibly creatively to introduce the cypherpole agencies. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good, yeah. My reaction should be done by the end of next week. CP9. The building of the Galela company that is run by Frankie's it's taking a lot of time because we're like around like an hour to Inspired by the Piazza dell'Anfiteatro in Tuscany parts, in northern Italy. It for me. The only thing that seems to be non-Italian on Water 7 is its and clear it. resemblance to the island <laughs> Mont just milk it. That's great. Again. Mont San Michael? Mont San Michael? <laughs> Mont Saint-Michel Saint in the Normandy what? in France that depending on the tides is completely surrounded by water as well and strongly resembles the shape of Water 7. But let's go back to Venice for a second. Not only is the city slowly oh, it's in into Italy. the ocean every single year, but it frequently oh. experiences the so-called Aqua Alta, a phenomenon where the city is completely flooded by high tides. And so I suspect that this is the actual inspiration for the enormous Aqua Aqua Laguna, a tsunami-like wave that rolls over Water 7 every single year and causes the island to sink a little bit into the ocean. That's pretty cool though. So technically speaking, when the tide recedes, you'll probably find some buildings underwater just like you did uh, in the Water 7. That's pretty cool. My man, oh, honestly, cooking I with that can't pen. help but wonder Ooh. what secrets lie beneath the surface okay. here as well. As you know, I'm convinced that there is a much bigger and deeper secret to this stunning world of One Piece and why so much of it is underwater. For example, the connection between the Aqua Laguna and the giant hole under in this lobby. And what do devil fruits have to do with all of this? One crazy but very real possibility, for example, is that the devil fruits actually originate from a giant 
giant tree on Laugh Tail that what? is under the sea just next to Water 7. And that's why you really shouldn't ignore this video right here because it will prove to you Yo. that One Piece is... Okay. That was a great transition, I'm not gonna lie. And that being said, I'll put my box right here. And I agree with him. You should click on this box and uh, my next video right there. Uh, see you.